to this homogeneity of variance test. And here we got, OK, so it actually didn't work out. It's not quite as powerful in this case. Um, so it didn't come out to be statistically significant. So now we'd be feeling, OK, well, maybe it's actually robust uh, to uh, th this level of deviation in, in non-normal distributions. But there's still one more type of Levine's test, which I, I talked about in the, um, the lecture or the conceptual discussion about homogeneity of variance, which is called the non-parametric Levine's test, which is actually based on ranking all the data f first get a rank on the pooled data. So rank these scores from the pooled data, and then calculate the, uh, the um, mean difference between those ranks and the mean rank, and then uh, calculate an ANOVA on that. So let's try that. So transform, uh, I need to transform my data into ranks, is the first step for this non-parametric Levine. So IQ is going to be ch converted, well, a new variable is going to be created, and they're going to be ranks. So these are the ranks for the pooled data. I haven't um, split the data. These are the pooled whole sample size data. All right? And then I calculate the mean for those scores, or respective means, just like I did for the other uh, Levine's test, or the first one. So data, aggregate, and uh, mean, but I don't want actually that variable. I want this rank IQ variable. I'm going to click function, and I want the mean. Yep. And now I'm going to click OK. So now it's calculated a rank IQ score, which I did first. And now it's calculated a rank IQ score for mean for each respective group. Group 1, which came out to 21.8. And groups, uh, group 0, rather, 21.08. And group one, which is 19.93. Now I just have to do an ANOVA on these on this new variable, descriptive or compare, compare means. One way ANOVA, throw that out, and now I need to do this on the um, the rank mean uh, RQ mean scores. Uh, actually, I haven't calculated the difference yet. I need to calculate the difference between these. Sorry, transform compute IQ difference rank. So the rank score minus the mean of the rank scores. And now I need to get the absolute value for that. Transform, compute. Whoops. OK. Now I actually calculate the. Um, difference between, uh, the, or the mean differences between these two using an ANOVA, which is a Levine, it's called a non-parametric Levine's test. And it's the most robust and the most powerful when you're analyzing non-normally non distributed data, and where your sample size might be unequal as well. So click on OK. And in this case, we do get a statistically significant effect. This is telling me that the variances between group 0 and group 1 are actually statistically significantly different from each other when when analyzed via the non-parametric Levine test. And um, this Levine test, as I discuss in the, in the homogeneity of variance, and I give references in the homogeneity of variance, it's a study by Nordsky and uh, Zumbo that uh, in a couple of papers have shown the utility of this non-parametric Levine's test. And it's easy to calculate and it's very powerful and it's less likely to actually commit type 1 and type 2 errors. So it's a great test all around. The only exception is when the data are perfectly, no when your data really are normally distributed, then you're better off using the traditional uh, Levine's test based on the difference between the means uh, rather than medians. The median test is probably the one that's kind of left out because the non-parametric test is best for non-normally distributed data. And the um, the original Levine test based on the means is the be is the best one for normally distributed data. Uh, so this is how you calculate the three different types of Levine's tests. It's quite simple and easy, I think. Uh, the non-parametric one's great. It's relatively new and it's it's showing great properties. I hope you found this uh, high two stats video useful. And thanks for watching.